therapy session. <laughs> the complimentary group therapy session. <laughs> Harry's not bad. But I've got another patient that Britt is coming and he... And he... What a, oh. You ring the hotline and you listen to the following messages. If you are obsessive compulsive, Please press 1 repeatedly. <laughs> if you are co-dependent, please ask someone else to press 2. <laughs> if you have multiple personality types, you press 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ah, <laughs> oh, doctor! Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> what? I'm, oh, it's been a day, it's been a day. I had to get a ride in from the mother-in-law. And as you can see, she walked home. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. There's a patient back in room six. This guy came in just before you, butt naked. Ooh. I mean, I couldn't put him in a waiting room. Wrapped in cellophane. Well, I can clearly see it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like the guy that sat there when I came in. What happened? He was saying, tell the doctor, 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 I think I'm invisible. Well, I can't see him now. <laughs> well, he was stealing a can of peaches. Mm -hmm. And there were five in the can. All right. And I stole them because I was hungry. Mm. He said, right, madam, five days in jail. One day for every peach in that can. As quick as a flash, my father stood up at the back of the courtroom and he said, Judge, she stole a giant can of peas as well. <laughs> I remember one day watching an army of cockroaches marching, marching across the carpet. Mm. On stilts. On stilts. It was so filthy. <laughs> Any other issues with your dad? Well, you know, when I was about seven, he said, Son. Mm. Nice. I thought that's nice. You never talked to me before in seven years. First time you've spoken. Yes. He said, "Get your coat. I'll take you to school." Well, we have to cross over a canal bridge. Right. Only three me. I did. You know, I thought, how, how nice is that? Teaching me how to swim. Well, <laughs> teaching me how to swim. How many fathers teach their sons how to that swim? Like that. That's right. Yeah. Um, but I've never worked out to this day why he fastened me inside a hessian sack first. Oh, yeah, that's a little suspicious. <laughs> Any childhood games like marbles that you played? Well, you know, when, when we, we were very poor. Yes. We were poor. Six boys in one single bed. No. Six of us and five of them used to pee the bed every night. Oh, they would pee the bed so much. Oh. I learned to swim before I could walk. <laughs> My father used to say, Which end would you like to sleep at tonight, son? I said, The shallow end. <laughs> So, uh, tell me, Foggy, um, how did you get to our office? Well, I think my brother had something to do with Your it. brother? My brother. Oh. Now, I told you about Crazy Town. Yes. And I told you about how cool we are and how... Right. ...stupid. Mmm. My brother's at Harvard Medical School. What? Harvard Medical School? My Your brother? brother from Crazy Town? Harvard Medical School? Made it to Harvard he Medical Harvard. School? Yeah. He's in a bottle in the dissection lab, but he made it! He made it. <laughs> oh, and shortly after that, I met a nice young lady. Oh, uh -oh. I'm 70 years old. She's 25. Wow. She goes to the gym every day. I need stress. She fixes all the great food I like. And you're upset. And so... <laughs> She likes to carry me to bed every night. Wow. And you know, afterwards. And so. <laughs> so why is so upset? I can't remember where I live! <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are wandering the streets, hesitate near the Tarantula. Please call a little titsy hotline. Please call a little titsy hotline. There. Hotline. Who? How long have you had this speech impediment? <laughs>